Hi everybody, welcome to the Astrology Chat for July 14, 2023. The keys today are short but mighty. First of all, you need to allow yourself to be open to expressing yourself in different ways and be open to the possibilities of expansion that come through experience. And to do this, you're going to have to allow yourself to heal through your pain and allow yourself to go beyond what you're used to and let people surprise you, right? Let yourself be open to the fact that not everybody that you meet is like who you were before. And as I've said before, you're not the same person. So if you let yourself show up with your authenticity, if you let yourself show up with an honest statement about your needs and your desires, then you're going to be able to be surprised by the fact that you're not the only one. And I say this because we have the sun sextile Uranus today. And this is an energy of allowing your expression and your feelings, because this is the sun in cancer, to bring you into new situations and new realizations and new awareness. And so you have to resist putting yourself back in the box. You have to resist putting yourself in the back of the room. You're going to have to allow yourself to release these absolute ideas about who you are and what is possible. And with the moon and Gemini sextiling Chiron and Aries, you can heal yourself with other people and through other people. And this can be through the law of attraction and through the law of contrast. If it's through the law of contrast, it's being honest about situations and interactions that have really hurt you. And allowing yourself to step back and say, what can I do differently? Do I need more discernment? Do I need more patience? Do I need to have more understanding? Do I need to uh, have better boundaries? Do I need to communicate better? The list is endless there that is possible. And if you allow yourself to practice out the list and actually let yourself live what you're thinking or try what you're thinking, then even if what you're going for doesn't happen, you still had growth, you still had expansion, and you still had healing. And so, again, I have to say to you, be okay with the flux, be okay with the process. And I have been speaking to you guys about retrograde energies um, even before they hit because I want you to be in the practice of practicing. I do this with my private clients. I do this with myself, right? You can start practicing before test day. And next week, we have a lot of test days. The north and south nodes are formally going to shift over. Um, we're going to have the new moon in Cancer. We are going to have the Venus retrograde move from shadow into active retrograde. And so take this time to note the things that have kind of come up for you repeatedly um, over the past few weeks and prepare to really... Get down to the get down and let yourself live outside of your boxes. I love you guys so much and I'll see you tomorrow.